Right, this is the time that we're lifting it off the plan. It's the bit that I like because you feel as if you've achieved something. You know, you started out with an empty bench and you've got half of a plane now. Right, let's get on. Take out the pins that hold it down. I think that's it. One there. Just get your ruler and slide it under. And it shouldn't stick because it's been soaked properly. And there it is. Right, that's looking quite good. If you look along, you'll see it's absolutely straight, which is the main thing we we're trying to achieve. Right, the next step. Um, oh, I'll just show you the little bits that um, I changed. That's a bit of spruce there, or pine. I've made it square only because I was not able to get any of the uh, uh, the right shape, really. Um, anything else? Oh yes, and the extra little little bits of stiffener in there, and I'll keep on mentioning these stiffeners. It's just so you can skin it halfway up, really. Right. Next step is. What would be the first step if you were making it as per the instructions? It's the battery box. It should slot into there. So we get a piece of the wood glue. Run it along the base of these corners. like that and that just slots into there a good bit take one of the sides which has to be sloping to fit inside of there because it may not fit perfectly first time and that is the bit that will house, in my case because I'm electrifying it, that will house the flight batteries which are these lithium jobs so they would fit into there. So it's nice to get enough of the weight up at the front of the plane so you don't have to add any in so the batteries will be useful for that. That's in there now I want to add on the other formers Bearing in mind that there's this main uh, stiffener brace that goes in, so you don't want to add in the front too because this one slots in all the way along. Oops. Right. Start off, uh, let's just see on the plan, we want to be going from B, so this one's B. Just check the fit with the piece of wood, uh, slide through without hindrance, yep. And that one will go on to there. Oh. There's just another little thing. Um, because I built it in, in halves, the back of the plane, this piece here was meant to be in, in quarter wood. And because I made it in half, I made it eighth. So now I'll add on the, the other half of it. Just a stream of glue along there. So it's meant to be a quarter this and if you're making the thing as per the instructions you would start with the battery box stick all of the formers stick that through the formers then add in the stiffener and then add in the rest of the spine and I think you'll appreciate it would be pretty hard to do all of that that one just goes 
there and these useful little plastic clips to hold it in place and the piece up onto the pin Try to be sparing with the glue. You could use any glue, really, super glue, anything like that. But uh, super glue is a bit quick. You need to be able to move things around. And if you just put it straight on with the super glue, and then you have to move it, you can't. You would have to snap it. So I use uh, the standard sort of wood glue, the white wood glue. Like that. I'll just use a pin from the moment because I don't want to impede on any of these corners going in. Right. Back to the formers. So we start with B. We go on to there. I'll put in the other side after all of this is made, I think. It'll be a lot easier. So on some glue on the bottom. The battery box and around these. The mid joint. need to be fairly precise with these uh, but again I think you can see how hard this would be to do if you were just making this freehand without it being on a plan there's the first four 